Could you move a bit? I want to plug in the vacuum. I'm recording a video. Oops. <clears throat> what is the topic? Oh, listen, I found something so cool, which is called hugging face. Uh, do you know what is hugging face? Hugging face? Yeah. Yeah. Well, first you smile and then you hug. No, I don't know. Listen, hugging face is democratizing machine learning through creating a hub that you can share and access a variety of different pre-trained machine learning models, let's say transformers, and mm -hmm. you can just take them to leverage them for your own use case or further tune them for your own use case. This is a pretty cool service. Make sure you check that out. It's awesome, man. Look. Oh, I love pre-trained models and transfer learning. Much simpler compared to starting everything from scratch. But if I want to productionize machine learning models coming from Hugging Face, mm -hmm. I might deal with some headaches of deployment, let's say, configuring the operating system, compute type, scalability, yeah. security, privacy, you know? Am I right? Yeah. Exactly. And the solution of all the challenges you just mentioned is the topic of this video which from mm -hmm. now with the integration of Hugging Face and Azure, you can just simply deploy your machine learning models from Hugging Face to Azure as an endpoint for machine learning. So from Hugging Face to production ready model on Azure with just a couple of clicks even. It's pretty simple. Wow, it seems like the integration of Hugging Face with Azure is <laughs> vacuuming <laughs> lots of production steps in ML and simplify production ML process, right? Exactly. Then. Let's go! Hello everyone, this is MG, hoping you are feeling fantastic. In this video, we're going to talk about the integration of Hugging Face and Azure. Well, Hugging Face is a company that builds tools that will help you to develop your machine learning applications and they're most notable for their uh, transformer library that can be used for NLP and also their machine learning platform, which enable users to share and access thousands of different machine learning models which are pre-trained so you can get them, access to them and even some open source data set there. Now, the challenging question is, if you would like to leverage any models pre-trained in their machine learning hub that you can just simply access to them, how you can productionize them and making sure you specify the correct configurations for your inference in compute, CPU, GPU, memory, scalability, privacy, and some enterprise requirements that you might have for production-ready models. Now with this integration in Azure, we can just simply grab any models from Hugging Face and deploy them as an endpoint on Azure, which will give you an API you can call them. And now you have scalability, privacy, reliability over a model that you have productionized and ready to be inferenced from, from a platform that is coming from Hugging Face. This is pretty cool. So make sure to tune in and let's check it out. Before we start, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will get notified for the next video. Thank you. All right, let's just start with talking again. What is Hugging Face? If you guys just simply go to your browser and type Hugging Face, H-U-G-G-I-N-G face.co, this is what you will face as of now. So Hugging Face is sort of a company that providing the tools and, and services that will help you to develop ML applications. Uh, they're mainly known for some open source transformer libraries that they have released and also the machine learning hub that will enable users to share a variety of different machine learning models and even data sets. So let's say if I just simply go to models, you will see the huge amount of different, I think, yeah, 100,000 models. These are pre-trained models for different scenarios. Let's say transformers for NLP, you can see even for image-based scenarios or vision-based scenarios, audio, text, and you can filter them out based on the task library and even data sets that are available for you can grab them. 
and if you know the name of the model or the area of the model that you're looking for you can just simply search here and it will filter out the results for example you can see there's one birth based model i think that can do sentiment analysis but if you check out any model you can see some table of contents regarding the details of the model the language for example what does it do it's going to do some sort of te text classification uh, here's an example of how we can use the code as a single level classification so I use the model in a code in a, using torch and some further information about the model how it got trained what training data was being used and also all evaluation metrics of the model for evaluation let's say the accuracy loss recall so on and so forth so now the question is I want to let's say deploy this model as of now here's an example of how to use this model here's a text I click on compute it is doing sentiment analysis saying that on CPU with this amount that it took 100% this text is positive of course I love you too <laughs> Okay, so now the question is if I want to deploy this on my own sort of control environment, let's say I am I am I have an enterprise company, so making sure that my model deploy in a secure environment, in a private environment, that I have control over accessing this deployed model. I can have a scalability, reliability. Remember we talked about Azure Machine Learning Endpoint, which is a service that can deploy your models as an API. Is any way that we can deploy this model as an endpoint to my Azure and Azure ML environment? The answer is yes, and this is exactly what we're gonna do today. So now what I'm gonna do, I wanna deploy this model from Hugging Face over Azure and my Azure ML as an endpoint. If you don't know what is Azure ML endpoint and how you can deploy your machine learning models as an endpoint in Azure ML, make sure you watch the video that I'm gonna add on the top right of the screen here. I have fully explained what is endpoint, so I assume you already know what it is, and this is what we're going to do. So using this model, this is not my model, I have not trained this model, this is coming from Hugging Face, but I want to deploy in Azure ML, you can see with just a couple of clicks. I'm using Portal, but Portal is not the only way to do so. It is simpler to understand the flow as a tutorial, that's why I chose the Azure Machine in Portal. So let's go to Azure. If you want to deploy Hugging Face model, you just simply Click on the search here, just type Hugging Face. There you go, it came already. Hugging Face Azure ML. You click on it. This is a service coming from Azure Marketplace. You see that the only plan is inferencing endpoint. This is what we're gonna, of course, do. We click on Create. This is my subscription. Yours gonna be different. Choose your subscription, then your resource group. This is the one that I've already created. Then uh, select your region. Give it a name to this application and then for the manage application details uh, by the way when you create this hugging face Azure ML service on backend it will create multiple services for you in a managed resource group that's why you need to also give it a name for the managed application as well let's say test one two three whatever and then what Azure will do it will create a resource group with a couple of components inside if you click on next you can see that it's asking you optional tags and check it is creating five resources for me if i enable hugging face azure ml and these are exactly the resources that you need to have when you create azure machine learning so what hugging face azure ml is doing it is creating an azure machine learning workspace with all required components and then deploy my hugging face model as an endpoint under this Azure Mail workspace that is connected to these resources. So if, if I click on next, it will create all of them under that manage resource group. I don't want to create again because I did it before record a call to save the time. So I go back and show you, this is what you will see. Then you will see that, okay, let's, let me wait first to find, uh, yeah, this is. So I created Hugging Face Azure ML, click on next that I showed you and you will see that based on the name. So I named the name that I chose was test MG or test one, two, three. And then if you click on it, you can see that the service, which is Hugging Face Endpoint Managed Application has been created for me. So you can specify our right, you can check out the identity property, so on and so forth. But the place that you are going to deploy Hugging Face models is here, Hugging Face Endpoint.
Before I deploy a model from Hugging Face, I'm going to show you the managed resource group that Azure created for me and those Azure ML workspace that I showed you it's going to create. Check that out. There's a resource group automatically created. I click on it. There you go. You see that there's Azure and Workspace created for me, Log Analytics Workspace, Key Vault, Storage Account. So these are the services I need to have in place to deploy a model using Azure ML with enterprise capabilities, which is scalability, reliability, security, access control, so on and so forth. You won't see the rest because these are my deployed models from Hugging Face. I already did this to record the video, but if you are coming here for the first time, you will see just these five services. Okay, let's go back to Hugging Face. Now, let's say I want to deploy a model from Hugging Face. So I just click on Hugging Face Endpoints. Again, for you, when you launch this uh, page, you will see nothing because this is the first endpoint you're going to create here. But for me, I already, I think, tested uh, two endpoints. I created two endpoints before I record the video to make sure I fully understand the process. And that's why exactly you'll see that I have two models from Hugging Face deployed and the deployment was successful. But let me show you how I did it. So you will see nothing here. So just click on add. There you go. It is telling me that, okay, give me the hugging face model ID or name. So I can deploy it for you. How you can grab it, let's go back to hugging face. Again, this was the initial hugging face web page, right? I go to models. Let's say the one that I was explaining as an example, this one, right? So this is sort of doing a sentiment analysis. Let's say I want to deploy this one. So just simply copy this name here or just click on this icon, copy it, go back to your, there you go, again, face model idea, click on paste, then the instance type, again, based on the model type that you're grabbing, you might need GPU, CPU, but here for me, I think this one would be enough. If I click on review and submit, done. It will start creating an endpoint for me, and this is what you will see. You'll see that it's going to take a couple of minutes, but you will see that it says deployment successful, and there you go. There is an endpoint created for me. If I click on it, it's going to take a while to load the information about this endpoint. Actually, let me show you in the Azure ML instance because we're going to test this endpoint. So, now you mentioned that on backend, this is leveraging Azure ML, Azure ML endpoint, right? But, okay, where is that Azure ML? Let's check that out. We go back to this hugging face again. I told you there's a manager source group here. Then you click on the Azure ML workspace that this resource created for me automatically. So I'm going to launch this. And you will see there you go. There is a Azure ML workspace automatically created for me. Of course, a lot of this stuff is empty, but the endpoint section should have my hugging face models. This is exactly like when you deploy your own models using Azure ML. Now you have hugging face model deployed here. Let's say this is the one that I just showed you, I deployed. And there you go, it says that, well, the, succeeded, uh, the deployment is succeeded, 100% of traffic going through this model. And let's actually do a quick test together. If I click on test, here I can even test the model, let's say, I'm gonna type something like, um, okay. Why? Okay. Why you have not like like this video yet? Yes, if you haven't liked this video since you're watching it, why you haven't liked it? Make sure you click on the like icon downside of the the video, and let's check the model. There you go. It is working. Telling me. Yeah, if you haven't liked it, that's negative. Instead, you can say, I like this video. And let's check out. There you go, 99% positive. It should be 100%, almost yet there. So that's it. That was pretty simple, straightforward, that how you can grab any model from Hugging Face, deploy them as an endpoint through Azure ML, so you can call it from a variety of different applications, languages, Python, through API call. And it is exactly like deploying your own models. Now you're leveraging Hugging Face models with best practices and enterprise features for deploying a model in Azure in, in production ready environment. Hoping you enjoyed the video and that's all. Sometimes when you're in a dark place, 
you think you have been buried, but actually you have been planted. Happy learning, my friends. Take care, and we'll see you shortly in the next video. Bye for now.